Hi guys, after yesterday's um, episode plus after a meeting yesterday I started thinking because I talked about asking for help. I think it's very important to know what we are asking for to save time. If you are new to reaching uh, asking for help or reaching out your hand and, and because it you can save a lot of time and you can save a lot of money. I know people have been in therapy forever and haven't come 10 centimeters because some people like me, I just wanted to have a space where I can just sitting and bullshitting for the most of the time. I had never a problem to go to social service and ask for a rehab because I like institutions, but did I do my best? No, absolutely not. How many foster homes, how many motivations home, how many rehabs? It, it's just, it's like going to the doctor and have pain in your stomach, but you say you have pain in your foot. It's just not gonna happen. <clears throat> and I understand what I did, did these things because I want comfort and I want to feel a space uh, where I was safe. An institution is a very safe place, but it's a waste of time if, if, if not have the courage to, to bring up what really is the problem or not having the intention of this is what I want to do to make my life better. I think it's so important to first check off, do I eat well, do I exercise, do I sleep good? Do those things first, then see if life gets better. If it takes you up a little notch, then go and ask for help. And another thing is also the intentions. Because I never had a problem to ask for help, but my intentions was not really good. I wanted something. Always wanted something. And it took so long time to understand this, that I am a lying fucking bastard. And the only thing I want is to take, 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 take. And not give anything for myself that makes the people that I ask for help from be able to help me. It's like I say with the doctor, you have stomach pain, but you go and say that you have pain in your foot and you get a diagnosis on your lie. <clears throat> so if you're asking for help, try to be honest, write down what you want help with. If you're going to a therapist, if you're going to whatever you're going for asking. I don't say you need to have everything figured out, but when it comes to money and you go for professional help, I think it's, it, it, it's important. Time is the most expensive currency we have. And I waste so many years. So if you are younger and you know you want to change, check this thing up, do I eat well, do I exercise, do I sleep, do I really know what I need help with. When it's come to addiction, going to meetings, <clears throat> even when you're not ready, I think that's good. Because the sharing you hear in, in, in those rooms of recovery is very important. And a little seed is, is, is is grounded and start maybe to grow. But it's also important to water that seed. I think that's what I wanted to say because need to, this, this balloon of lies that, that I've been flying around with, when I just took all the air out of that and really been honest about what's going on and this is what I need help. Everything just suddenly gets 
better and better. And I don't say it easy to look at these things. And you can, if you are ready to go to a therapist, tell that. Tell that, hey, I, 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 I'm quite good on bullshitting, but I have this one. I want to look at this problem, my uh, relationship to my parents or whatever it can be, your wife, your husband or whatever it is, and start there. But if you're just going there for comfort, and just blah, 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 blah. You're gonna waste so much time and you're gonna waste so much money and then you're gonna end up 10 years later or 20 years later, oh fuck. Yeah, that was my reflection from a meeting and yesterday's reaction video with Anna. With that said, peace.